So the teaser has been dropped, the trailer has been released, and the numerous interviews with the remarkable crew only keep adding to the excitement for the fourth season of The Umbrella Academy. After a never-ending wait and anticipation, the show is just around the corner to be released, and the fans can't keep calm. Here we are to briefly jog your memory of the past events from The Umbrella Academy, to discuss the important characters as well as the details of the upcoming season and what we can expect. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The Paradox Pioneers What was The Umbrella Academy all about? First Season 2019 in a bizarre occurrence in 1989, 43 unrelated women all over the world gave birth while they were not even pregnant. A billionaire named Sir Reginald Hargreaves adopts seven of those children, and noting their superpowers, he trains them to become superheroes of a group called the Umbrella Academy. Reginald only refers to the kids with numbers, while their robot mother Grace takes it upon herself to name them. Growing up, the heroes go their separate ways after losing two of their brothers. Number one is Luther, who has superhuman strength. Luther shares a forbidden love with Allison, and Reginald sends Luther to the moon for a mission as punishment. Number two is Diego, who has the telekinetic power to manipulate the trajectory of objects around him, such as knives and bullets. Number three is Allison. She can manipulate reality by starting a sentence with I heard a rumor, and compel anyone to do what she wants. Number four is Klaus. He can communicate with spirits and manifest them into the real world. In season three, he wins over death. Number five is still named number five, because he got lost in time before Grace could name him, as he can jump through space and time. Number six is Ben, who can summon monstrous tentacles from his body. Unfortunately, he dies in one of their missions, which isn't much discussed in the show. Number seven is Vanya, who doesn't have any powers and lives an isolated life. She later finds out that Reginald suppressed her powers through pills, and turns out to be the most powerful, as she can manipulate sound waves and use them for telekinesis. The news of Reginald's death compels the group back to their childhood home. During the funeral, Five mysteriously jumps from the future and reveals that the world is going to end in eight days. The siblings help him prevent the apocalypse while fighting Time Commission officers Hazel, Cha-Cha, and their boss The Handler, who wants to prevent any changes to the timeline. Amidst their quest, Vanya unleashes her superpowers and learns that Allison helped Reginald manipulate her to forget her powers. In a fit of rage, she slits Allison's throat, who survives but loses her voice. Luther confines her to a room which only adds to her anger as she explodes into an entity that only wants destruction. The others try to stop her, but she accidentally ends up shooting a laser beam to the moon that explodes toward the Earth, causing the apocalypse. With no time left, the group takes Vanya and travels back in time with Five's powers in hopes of preventing the apocalypse this time. Second Season 2020 Instead of arriving a few days earlier, the Umbrella Academy siblings end up scattered in the early years of the 1960s Dallas. Five arrives there in 1963, just a few minutes before yet another apocalypse initiated by Nuclear Doomsday, which resulted from the prevented assassination of JFK. Hazel, the commission officer, takes Five ten days back and explains that his siblings altered the timeline, causing Doomsday. Five now sets out to gather the siblings to prevent yet another apocalypse. The other siblings have established their new lives in this timeline. Diego falls in love with Lila Pitts, who secretly works for the Handler. Allison participates in the civil rights movement and marries one of the leaders. Klaus is still followed by Ben's ghost and becomes a cult leader. Vanya gets hit by a car, loses her memory, gets adopted by a family, and falls in love with the mother, Sissy, while developing a close bond with her son, Harlan. Once when Harlan is about to drown, she saves him through CPR and ends up transferring some of her powers to him. In this season as well, Vanya's about to blow up the world after she remembers everything, but Ben enters her body and calms her down. The siblings then go up against the Handler and Lila, who can mirror the powers of others. The Handler wants to take Harlan with her, but the siblings fight back and help Lila realize that the Handler killed her parents and manipulated her to use her as a weapon. After the Handler is killed, Lila escapes with the time-traveling briefcase. The others also travel back to 2019, and to their utter shock, Reginald is alive and has chosen a different set of children to raise, only including a vile version of Ben. They're called the Sparrow Academy. Third Season 2022 The group realize that their actions have created a new timeline, resulting in the Sparrow Academy that shows remarkable powers. It turns out that after meeting the group in 1960 Season 2, Reginald was not impressed with them and decided to choose a different set of kids, except for Ben, as he was not alive back then. Only two of them managed to survive toward the end. Ben, number two, who has the same tentacle-like powers along with a bad attitude, and Sloane, number five, who can manipulate gravity. She falls in love and marries Luther. The Umbrella siblings accept their fate and check into Hotel Obsidian. Allison and Vanya are grieving the loss of their loved ones from the 1960s, while Diego meets Lila and their love sparks again. Another threat of an apocalypse looms over their head in the form of the Kugelblitz, a kind of black hole ready to consume the universe. One by one, several animals and kids get snapped into it. 
Due to their time traveling sprees, the grandfather paradox has been created where you're not supposed to exist if your parents died before you were born. When a now old Harlan arrives in this season, he reveals that he accidentally ended up killing all of their mothers in the past in a fit of overwhelming emotions, only sparing Ben as he never met Harlan. Hence the group is not supposed to exist in this paradoxical world. How it ended. The surviving members of both of the academies join hands to save the world. Reginald devises a plan to reset reality through the mysterious Hotel Oblivion. He describes it as a deadly test that the siblings must participate in to reset the world. They have to defeat the guardians that protect the seven bells of the Oblivion. When the siblings refuse to go through deadly tribunals, Reginald starts his manipulative tactics. He strikes a secret deal with Allison, who wants to go back to her family, and later kills Luther, posing as if the guardians killed him, which motivates the siblings to enter the Oblivion for revenge. Unbeknownst to anyone, Reginald forces Klaus to stay behind, which ends up killing him. Motivated by Luther in the afterlife, Klaus uses his powers to defeat death and war warn others about Reginald. Reginald splits the sibling into groups to find the sigil symbols that represent the seven bells. He summons three guardians that attack the group, and they defeat all three of them, retaining severe injuries. They arrive at an open hall where they meet Klaus, who reveals the truth about Reginald killing Luther. Despite their anger at Reginald, they have no choice but to follow his lead to save the world. Reginald instructs them to stand on the stars drawn on the floor, except for Allison. Using a machine, Reginald starts draining the siblings of their powers, and Allison finally realizes she's on the wrong side. She strikes Reginald, slicing his head to reveal his alien identity. Despite Victor's pleas, she goes through with Reginald's plan and presses a button to reset the world. In the aftermath, we see that Allison is back with her husband from the 60s and daughter, while the remaining heroes find they don't have any powers. Luther is alive, but Sloane is missing. All of them go their separate ways to start a new life, and the camera pans out to the city that turns out to be mostly owned by Reginald, who's seen with his wife, who's supposed to be dead. It can be assumed that Reginald had it all planned even before the first season, way before the siblings even came into the world. He might even be the reason for their birth, as apparent from the scene where he initiates some glowing samples into the sky, one which later enters Ben's mother's body. He adopted seven siblings for this mission alone, as the machine required seven powerful beings to start, but after Ben's death and the disappearance of five, he believed his mission would never succeed. However, the altered timeline gave him a chance to fulfill his motive and use the siblings to create another reality where he's a powerful man. In the final scene, it's apparent that Reginald owns many buildings and is living with his wife Abigail, who died a long time ago. All this while, he was able to cryogenically freeze her body in the moon where Luther was stationed in the first season. His real, real identity is not explored, and we can hope to learn more about him in the fourth season. The post credit scene shows Ben on a South Korean train, peacefully reading a book. Although this Ben seems different from the arrogant one we were introduced to in the third season, we can assume that he's going to play a big role in season four. The New World – What to Expect from Umbrella Academy Season 4 Guess what? The world is ending again. Is the show even about superheroes if they don't stop the world from ending? Similar to the previous seasons, our heroes are again on a quest to save the world. Ben seems to be the center of it all, as the first scene of the trailer reveals that he's going to end the world in 24 hours. The heroes have lost their powers according to the third season finale, but the trailer depicts that their powers will be back. We can assume that their powers are going to change, as seen in the trailer, where some of them are seen using entirely different superpowers. While Victor is emitting fire, Ben releases tentacles from his back instead of the front, and Lila seems to be throwing laser beams from her eyes. Reginald is seen helping them into a machine that might be the one that will activate their powers. Reginald's wife is obviously going to be back from the dead and help him with all his adventures. We can expect similar elements of fun and thrill as suggested by the trailer. As the third season ends with Lila revealing her pregnancy to Diego, the trailer continues with this plot, and we're going to be introduced to their daughter. A dialogue that points to the theme of this season is that the world we live in is a huge monumental lie. We can expect morphing realities and changes in the truth that we've known so far. Two new villains can be seen in the trailer. They are revealed to be Dr. Jean and Dr. Jean Thibodeau, who are seen assembling a group. They seem to have vast knowledge of the world and may stir things up even for Reginald. The show focuses on the subway maps, which represent the overlapping alternate realities, and this might be the mystery that the siblings have to solve. It seems that the show will circle back to the series and answer all the mind-boggling questions left in viewers' minds from the previous seasons, as the title of the final season episode is revealed to be the end of the beginning. Who's back and who's new? A look at the cast. The entire cast of the Umbrella Academy is going to be back for the final season, with Tom Hooper playing Luther, David Castaneda as Diego, Robert Sheehan as everyone's favorite Klaus, Aiden Gallagher as Five, Justin H. Min as the Sparrow Ben, Elliot Page as Victor, Ridu Aria as Lila, and the good old Colm Fjord as Reginald Hargreaves. Lisa Repo Martel might also be back to play Reginald's revived wife Abigail. All of them will be seen in a different element of vulnerability, having stripped off their powers and presumably under the attack of new villains. 
New additions to the series include Nick Offerman, who will play Dr. Gene Thibodeau, and Megan Mullally as Dr. Gene Thibodeau, the presumed villains of the finale. David Cross will also be appearing in the show as Cy Grossman, who's desperate to meet his deceased daughter. Release date. Is it the last season? As the long-awaited season renews after a two-year-long wait, it's a bittersweet feeling for the fans as they're informed that this will be the final season. It's surprising in itself that Netflix allowed such a great series to continue with its reputation of ripping fans off of the good shows. Redeeming its reputation, Netflix is finally concluding the show with this season. Some sour taste also comes from the season only having six episodes, and for a binge-worthy show like this, it's just not going to be enough. Nonetheless, the fans have to find peace that their favorite show will have a conclusion, unlike many great TV shows that were left on a cliffhanger. The show will be released on August 8th, which marks the renewal and the goodbye of this Marvelous series. Marvelous Verdict The series is expert at compiling mysteries, and the trailers only add to the questions rather than giving us any answers. It's going to be compelling to see how the series ties all the open knots together and explains the questions that have been gnawing the fans for years. We're sure that the show will do justice to the year's long wait, and the fans will finally be able to bid a final farewell to this gripping world of mystery. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.